So now moving on to the next part, this is where I'll be finishing off the uh, vending machine. There is still going to be some little bits to do later, which is like um, foolproofing. So there is no way to break it, but the program itself will work if you actually do it as intended. One thing that I wanted to add is we didn't have like this section never appears. So what I'm just going to do is just add a console.readline because that way it will require our input every single time this message shows. Yeah, so because the else was never read out during the production. So now if we press F5 to play, if I, yeah, let's just do this a few times. So we've added and, oh, that's an interesting error. But yeah, I'll fix that later. But if we press F5 again, then yeah, there we go. It says insufficient money and we have to press enter. Hmm. But yeah, carrying on, we'll be um, continuing with this. So first thing I'm going to do is just copy this, literally, this entire section, because we'll be creating something similar, I guess. And first thing we're going to do is we're just going to modify this slightly. So we're not inputting coins. This is more like... Um, select um, item yeah so we'll just replace that in here and we're not going to actually use this but instead we're just going to make a boolean called selection complete because we could have a faulty selection so we're just going to slap that here and we're going to set that to true and that means that in here we want to have our selection to be false just in case so we start off with a false and then in the cases we're just going to change it to true based on our criteria so what i'll do is i'll remove everything from the cases because we don't exactly need them anymore because we'll be adding something else in there we go and we'll have an extra case because we'll need our exit case yeah, there we go. So here we'll actually have seven options instead of one. I'm just going to clear this out, clear this out, clear this out. Why? Oh, we need to change the name. So this is going to be called uh, Purchase Item Handler. There we go. And then inserting coins. Oh, that was meant to be six. And then we can show how much money we have in the machine, but there is no need to see how much money we have in our pockets. And I guess that could be at the very top. Okay, so now we have our options prepared. We have our cases. There you go. This took quicker than to just write it down. And then, I don't know, invalid product selection. Um, if we go back to program, we're just going to set this up here. So we can just copy this here and change this to purchase and slap in new customer but one other thing that we also have to do is because now we need the product data so we will be passing the products as well and i guess at the end of the machine the program we can have some kind of an, an message so thank you for using this service of course this is an error because if we go back here we actually need to add products array and then products there we go so now that we have this we'll be running our second loop and what we'll have in here is um, we'll basically call every item so let's start off with this section so here we will have our plus and it's going to be products zero because that's the first section from the array and it's going to be the name of the product so this will display whatever product we randomly generate in the previous part uh, plus I'm just going to make some empty space and let's just have the cost of the product so that's going to be a zero position in the array cost and then uh, let's put the dollar sign as that's what we're using for the currency so this we can now copy and paste one two three four five times one two three four five one two three four five 
whoopsie daisy and this will display all of our options so that means that this is going to be our exit option so this will say something like oh yeah cancel cancel pending mesh yeah just cancel is good enough i think and in the case we will do an if and an else now the else will just say that it's going to handle the um, insufficient coins part so this will just say insu insufficient coins and then we have selection complete is equal to false and then console.readline there we go like this and in here we can just put customer data because we're going to test if we actually have the money to buy it money inserted and then is higher than or equal to products the id tag of zero dot cost here we go and that's our if and then firstly we of course have to remove the money from the machine And then secondly, we can just do our message. So that's going to be console.writeline product and then plus products zero dot name plus and then I don't know has been dispensed. Dispensed. There we go. So and then let's just write some more stuff so I'm just gonna make two more lines here and here we're going to write thank you for your purchase and here we will write customer that oh one second customer data dot money inserted plus the dollar sign and then has or well, has been returned because we want our money back that hasn't been spent from the vending machine and of course here we set selection to true um, now that being said here we need to have selection complete is equal to true as well and then we can just have some kind of a simple message here which says oh you want to leave that's fine and of course we need the console dot right line i mean read line just like in the previous one so we can actually see the message so a bit like this and here we can put oh your coins will be returned returned shortly there we go triple dots <laughs> yeah so now that we have this you just copy it for every single one of them one two three four and all we have to do here is just change from zero to a plus one third one fourth one and then the final one Okay, so now let's give this a try. Should work fine. So first we add in the money. So let's add two pounds and finish inserting coins. And now we have balance of two well, pounds. I said pounds is dollars. Now let's just pick a sandwich. And then there we go. Product sandwich has been dispensed. Thank you for your purchase. 0 0.3 has been returned. Thank you for using the service. There we go. So this is the machine working. That's yeah. Looks pretty good. There like there's still like some errors with um if you put in like let's just say a word it's gonna break, but I'll do that. Yeah, but that's gonna be the next thing that's gonna be fixed. At least it works how it's supposed to. Oh actually let's just check the error messages real quick. So let's just say we only put in a pound in and we press six. And then let's just say we want a, yeah, the cake is really expensive. Oh, insufficient coins. Oh, I didn't make a space. So I'll just do that real quick. And then if we press cancel, there we go. Oh, 
CAZ. So let's just go here. Where is it? Operations machine. Is it oh, everywhere? Wow. There we go. So yeah. That's it for now. Next part it will be the debugging bit. I mean, try catching. <laughs>